Okay, time for a third challenge. Your challenge to this time is to make a working casino. Yes, we're amping it up with the difficulty. You must make a working casino. I'll show you what this working casino should look like. So here's the basic screen. You have Welcome to the Casino. Your money is displayed here, which should always be set to 100 at the start. And please insert money. So if I insert 5 money, I don't know if you can see this properly. That doesn't help. Well, if I insert 5 money, it starts the game. It gives me a random number. This is a randomly generated number, as I shall show you now. See? 144. So, randomly number generator. Random number generator. And you need to get 3 to win. If you do not get 3, you win nothing. If you do get 3, like I did at the start, you get 25. You get 25, and it's added to your money. And obviously, when you pay money to play the game, you lose some money. Like, for instance, here, I paid 5 money. Now I have 95 only, and I also lost. If uh, someone decides to try to cheat the system and put in way too little, they it doesn't work. And they don't lose any money. If someone accidentally manages to put 5 and accidentally hits 8 and doesn't see it and hit enter, it'll, it'll also say the, the same thing. So there's some checking. You must enter 5. So yeah, that's the basic casino app. Casino, I should say. When making the casino, you should- oh yeah, I, I scaled up the window so you could see more properly. You should be able to- here are the main, main functions. Make it re replayable. You shouldn't have to restart the program every time you want to replay it again. So you have to find a way to do that. It might be a little more difficult. I'll give you- um, here's a hint, any function other than main can call itself a game. What that means is any function that, that is not main can call itself again while it's running. So here's a, that's a nice one. Make a mave. Make a random number generator for the casino. A hint is you. Oh, hold on. I need to also add something that is between one and four. Here's a hint use one, one plus rand. Modulus 4. Wait, is that correct? Yep. The next thing you need to be able to do is take away and add money. Take away and add money from. Take away money from the player and add money to the player a hint for this use this and this if you remember they should only get money if they win and they should always lose money if they put in some finally make a system that checks if that checks if they entered five money. That's not proper grammar, but I can't use pounds. Here's a hint. You can you can do this by by using five is equal to money is equal equal to five. I won't tell you where you put this, but yeah. Here is your starting code. I've lifted in quite a bit. But you'll need to find out how to make the function keep calling itself. And I also left it an error for you to find throughout the code. You probably already tell where it is. I've left quite a bit, so you'll all you but you really the real challenge comes when you have to actually program the game. So yeah. 
let's see if you if you can do this. Alright, how did it go? Let that's just so you know, none of this is new. You've learned this all before. So here we go. Let's get get the answer. And of course I'll be using I'll be using the um starting template. Or should No, you know what I'm going max. I'm not going to use starting template. So what we need, but I'm going to add keep one thing, this function, and you'll see why. First off, I need to call this function. Because the main game. So I just called this. Next thing. Next thing I must do is get the main menu started up. Which you should have in templates. So here's the temp So here's the main menu. So we now have welcome to the casino. Please put insert money. And then we let them insert the amount. Now then. How do we check if it's greater or less? Or if it's exactly what we need? If amount equals 5, do something else, do something else. We'll start with the else one. We want to see out too much or too... Oh, why is my spelling? Too much or too little deposited. And we're not going to take away money. Then you want to do this three times now you don't actually have to do this depends but this is just a neat and up so if I go to here let's say there's these lines okay and let's say on this line we have hash 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 some code hash hash now let's say we're going to want to start the main menu again so we want to restart the game if we have no Border or something. This is the main menu. Main menu. Menu. When this is probably game. Game. It looks very choppy and not good. If we have an extra an extra space, however, it becomes main menu. And doesn't that just look better with some space in between? So, next thing we want to do. Since now we how are we going to call this again? Because right now, if I go into the program, it loads up perfectly. But if I put in too little, too much, it just quits. So we hit. So we type in game again. You remember that hint? This function is now going to call itself. So now, if we go into here, we've got. If I put in one. Too much, too little, too positive. Six, too much, too little, too positive. Now then, what about the actual checking, playing system? Well, first, I'm just going to add a little starting game. Alright. Then I'm going to want to take away from their money. So money, minus equals, five. For some, if you want an extra challenge... You can make sure that you can make it so they have to have at least five money. In fact, I can show you it now if you want. Uh, no, I'll actually show you later. But for now, you can get negative money, so you're going in debt. So, whatever. I'll tell you how to do that later on. It takes a little bit of extra skills. Let's say it's not, it's not too, com too complicated. I can show, I'll show you maybe next video. Um... So we take away money, and then we want to we want to randomize the random. So we do that with time zero, so it's perfect random. Then we want to make a new va va variable called value, which is going to be one plus rand modulus. So what this is doing is it's saying, make a random number between 1 and 4, and then make this so that this variable is equal to that whatever that random number is. 
The reason we do that is now we can say your value and three to win. Alright, so what this is saying is here's your value and then here's the value. Simple C out. Now we need to check if the value is 3, or if it's not 3. So if it is 3, what we want to do is make sure that value equals 3. Now this actually has to be double equals. The reason it's not single equals or because this will always run true, because you're setting value to 3. So this will always run true. So... Yeah, you want to just make an if and else block. If the value is 3, so if we won, you want to say something like, Congrats. Congratulations. You won. You won 25. Money. I don't care about my... I don't... I should probably... Just for the grammar Nazis, or just for the grammar police, just for the grammar police, pounds. Five pound. Here, you happy? So. Now we now that I've now that I've made the grammar police happy, just to make sure that I don't want to be arrested. Um, you want to add money to them, so money plus equals twenty five. Now, how do we do it now? The final step is to make this one again, and then we've done it. So now. If I, oops, I think I actually moved it. If I now, now, go here, say five, it quits! Bye. I'll tell you why, because I didn't get a correct one. I didn't finish this one. You wanna, when you get to here, sorry you win nothing. Sorry, you won nothing. 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 And then. Yeah. So here's. Here we go. I won nothing. Nothing. Oh, I got something. And you see, we got a working casino. You can obviously make more advanced casinos like this. Again, don't think this is the fin this is the end of the casino game. There will be a harder challenge incoming in the future. Wow, did you see how lucky I got? Of course, you can just spam and then and then if you end up getting a good one, then you get so much money. But of course, we can't solve that. So yeah, there you go. The, the, the casino game is done and dusted. So now we have learned how to make a casino. This will not be the end of the casino. The casino, we will be coming back to it to improve it in the future. Anyway, if you like this, press the like button and subscribe to me if, if subscribe to me if you want to see more coding videos, or if you don't like coding videos and instead like games. Then you can. I also have gaming videos, and I'll see you on the next video.